Popular Bible teacher and speaker Beth Moore, who recently garnered headlines for leaving the South Baptist Convention, announced that she's taking a break from her widely followed Twitter account. In a Twitter thread, this was posted last Friday by Beth Moore, she stated that she's putting myself in timeout for a bit from the social media platform, citing two reasons. One, I feel a bit too strongly about some things to be on Twitter right now. I don't trust myself. I'm gonna punch somebody. I can either get ugly or get off. More detail. And the fact is, I really do want to walk with Jesus in the spirit and not burn stuff down. Mind you, I don't take back a word I've said. See, this is where I go early the longer I talk. I just think it's enough for now. Mo stated that the other reason for taking Twitter break is that she's writing again and had just hit that groove writers crave when they get really immersed. Please know that all is well and I'll be back in these Tweety Bird Woods soon, she added. I was gonna tell you to behave but sometimes behaving's overrated. Mo has over 980,000 Twitter followers. Last month, Mo, the founder of Living Proof Ministries, announced her departure from the SBC after having long been tied to the theologically conservative denomination. The 63-year-old Mo said the issue was that she did not identify with some of the things in the history of the SBC that she believes have not remained in the past. Well, I did uh, a detailed video for that when the announcements came out. So if you want to watch it, I think I'll link it in the description below. Earlier this month, Mo elaborated on her issue with complementarianism, the theological doctrine that men and women have distinct divinely ordained roles in family and church matters. The SBC's two thousands Baptist faith and message teaches that a husband is to love his wife as Christ loves the church and a wife is to submit herself graciously to the servant leadership of her husband even as the church willingly submits to the headship of Christ. When you, function, when you functionally treat complementarianism, a doctrine of man, as if it belongs among the matter of first importance, yeah, as a litmus test for where one stands on inerrancy and authority of scripture, you are the ones who have misused scripture, she tweeted on April 7. I beg your forgiveness where I was complicit. I could not see it for what it is until 2016. I plead your forgiveness for how I just submitted to it and supported it and taught it. Well, I hope as she takes a break off Twitter, she will come back more refreshed and more ready to rally and uh, preach God's word and God's truth through all her, her posts and sharings. Well, good luck to her and her rest of Twitter. Sometimes we need the rest of social media, right?